The Adventures of Man Sponge and Boy Patrick in EVIL vs. the IJLSA. Chapter 1, Dried Up. It was a beautiful morning in Bikini Bottom, but for SpongeBob SquarePants, the night before had been downright ugly. SpongeBob turned to his pet snail. I had the worst nightmare, Gary, he said, thinking back to his terrible dream. In the dream, SpongeBob and Patrick had been walking down the street dressed as their hero alter egos. Man Sponge and Boy Patrick. They were on the lookout for adventure. Suddenly, they noticed a jellyfish floating in the sky with a drawing taped to its side. Look, Pat! Man Sponge said, pointing. Oh, pretty! It's a jellyfish wearing a picture of some cheese, said Boy Patrick. That's not cheese, that's me! It's the sponge signal, Man Sponge explained. That means there's trouble afoot and it's up to Man Sponge to save the day. And boy Patrick, Patrick added, and he scratched his head confused. Hey, SpongeBob, where's the Pat signal? Pat signal? Don't be ridiculous, there isn't one, said Man Sponge. Quickly, to the sponge lair! They ran off to the sponge lair, which looked a lot like Spongebob's house. As soon as they walked in, they heard the phone ringing. Ring! Ring! I'll get it! Boy Patrick volunteered. Not so fast! Man Sponge said. He pointed to a sign stuck to the phone. What does that say, my trusty sidekick? <laughs> Boy Patrick peered at the sign. Sponge phone? He read. That's right! It's the sponge! Sponge phone, not the pat phone. Kindly stand aside while I answer the call of justice. Man Sponge swept past Boy Patrick and picked up the phone. <laughs> That's not fair, Boy Patrick grumbled, but Man Sponge didn't hear him. He was too busy answering the call of justice. Copy that, sir. We'll be there right away, said Man Sponge, hanging up. To the invisible float mobile, Boy Patrick. Someone's in danger! <clears throat> the two action heroes raced outside and hopped into a rickety old boat. Put the pedal to the metal, boy Patrick! We've got no time to lose! cried Man Sponge from the passenger seat. But I drove last time, boy Patrick complained. Right, you did, my crime fighting companion, but. I am Man Sponge, and I must be free to keep an eye out for evil at all times. Somebody's getting a little too big for his super pants, Boy Patrick muttered. A short while later, the invisible floatmobile screeched to a halt on a busy street in downtown Bikini Bottom. Look over there! That citizen is in desperate need of a rescue! Man Sponge exclaimed. He pointed to a young lady whose arms were piled high with packages. <gasps> There's a puddle of mud in front of her, and she's going to walk right through it, Boy Patrick gasped. We've got to help her. I'll handle this, Boy Patrick, said Man Sponge confidently. He scurried over to the puddle, flopped down on top of it, and soaked up the mud just as the young lady was about to step in it. <gasps> My hero! <clears throat> She cried and covered Man Sponge with kisses. Oh, how will I ever repay you? <laughs> no payment necessary, ma'am. It's my duty to help citizens in need. Man Sponge told her, smiling. It's my duty, too, Boy Patrick added, hoping to win a kiss. The young lady looked at Boy Patrick curiously. Who are you? she asked. Oh, him? Man Sponge said. He's my sidekick. Your sidekick? Your sidekick? Boy Patrick shouted angrily. We're supposed to be a team. Oh, I'm tired of being your flunky man sponge. Whoa! 
Back in the present, SpongeBob shuddered. Oh, oh, it was such an awful dream, Gary. And it all seemed so real. Wow, Gary replied. I know, Gary. Boy Patrick was so angry with me. <sighs> I'm glad it was just a dream. SpongeBob breathed a sigh of relief. Wow, Gary exclaimed. <gasps> Goodness, you're right, Gary. Look at the time. I better get ready for work. SpongeBob quickly took a shower, brushed his teeth, and got dressed. By the time he was ready to leave, he'd forgotten all about his bad dream. Whistling happily, he opened his front door and came face to face with Patrick. Hey there, buddy! SpongeBob greeted his friend, but Patrick wasn't happy. He glared at SpongeBob and waved the picket sign he was holding. SpongeBob stared at the sign and gasped. <gasps> it read, Man Sponge is dried up. Stay tuned for chapter 2 coming up soon.